So here we are in Newmarket. Uh, it's an unbelievable place. There's just horses everywhere. Um, really lucky I've been invited to Roger Varian's yard. So uh, it's down there in the middle of town. So we're just going to crack on over there and have a look at some of the nice horses he's got. With so many trainers here in Newmarket, competition has been fierce. So I asked Roger how his season's been going. We have a very strong first half of the season. And, um, you know, we, we hit a, a sticky spell through the end of July and most of August, really, which was, um, you know, quite well publicised. We had a bit of a, a foreign bacteria come into the yard and, and, you know, it got round the horses and it really brought us to a bit of a standstill through August. We had to sit out one or two of the big meetings and I didn't send a runner up to York for the, for the e-ball meeting. So, um, you know, that was, uh, you know, a bit of a tough time. And, you know, thankfully I have a lot of patient owners and... Um, you know, they gave us uh, sort of no pressure and a bit of time to get the horses right again. And, you know, the last two or three weeks, I think the horses are in rude health and have been running very well. It was great to meet Aljamah here. Um, fingers crossed his training regime goes to plan and he can be seen at Champions Day on the 19th of October. Yeah, he's a great character. Um, he's full of energy. He's always one of those who um, doesn't have to be a Monday morning for him to be bucking and skipping. He'll be bucking and skipping on a Saturday morning at the end of a long, a long hard week and uh, he's a wonderful athlete, he's, uh, his homework has always been very impressive. Um, he's obviously been placed in Group 1 races for Lockinger, McQueen and Stakes this year. He won the Group 2 Summer Mile. He, you know, he gets a mile well, but he's got an awful lot of speed and, you know, it might be that um, he might have a run back at seven furlongs before, uh, before thinking about going back up to a mile again at Ascot. Just like humans, horses have very different characters as well. I asked Roger about a mare called Ambivalent. She was a bit scatty and, uh, you know, she'd, she'd you know, walk around the box and um, she'd be, have a lot of nervous energy. But, um, you know, that would affect her if she wasn't so tough. She's very tough, she's a great grubber, she never leaves a note. She ran a bit below par at Goodwood, I thought, in the Nassau Stakes, but it was just at a time when I had one or two horses not running up to their best and, um, Actually, subsequently, she came back from Goodwood and, um, you know, she actually grew this, uh, this bacteria. So it might be that that wasn't her best performance, but I thought she bounced right back to form in Turkey last time. She was second, you know, in a, in a strong, strong event. And, uh, no, she, we'd like to get her, get her to ask up for the Phillies and Mares race. With the season building up to the finale, I asked Roger what British Champions Day means to him. You know, it's a, it's a great meeting. It's... Um, you know, you, you need very good horses to go there. There's no point dreaming about going if you haven't got the, the stock to take you there. Um, but no, I've one or two horses uh, that will hopefully end up, uh, you know, running. And yes, there's good prize money, but there's great prestige and it's, um, it's a bit of a curtain raiser of a season, isn't it?